Hi, I'm Jade. I'm here at Chatham Pottery and it's always an exciting day when we open a glazed kiln. But it takes a while for the kiln to cool down and you can't open it, otherwise the pots will crack. How, how hot is the kiln? The, the kiln is about a thousand degrees right now and my mom can never stand it because it's always like Christmas. So I bet she is back there thinking it's ready to open. Mom, it's not cold, cool enough. I'm just I told looking. you. She, she wants it to I'm open now. You it. can't open it I'm now not. because it will. Just check Mom, me. she can never wait. She's like this little kid that's ready for Christmas. Oh. It's 900 degrees. Mom, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just going to pull the damper out a little bit more. To let some more air in to cool it off quicker. We've got a lot of good stuff in there. I'm just, It'll be all right. Nothing will break. Sometimes we can get a little peek of what's in there with my flashlight through my little spy hole. If I can't look, you can't look. Oh, it looks good. What do you see? Um, it looks good. Does it look good? Yep. Can I see? Nope. trying to open the kiln by herself. <laughs> can, you, can you please come help? Please. All right, so we're still at about 600 degrees. It's too hot to open. So what happens is you take a stone body and you glaze it. And we put it in the kiln and we fire it to 2300 degrees. And that glaze turns to glass on the stoneware. Now, if we were to open this up right now, the stoneware body and the glaze would shrink and cool at two different speeds. And that would cause crazing or cracking, which would result in what we call a second, not our perfect pot. Uh, we do sell seconds here at the store. Uh, they're at a discount, obviously, because they're not up to our standards. But sometimes those imperfections are what makes a pot beautiful and unique. Um, our house is filled with seconds. I love them. I love when mysteries and surprises happen. Yeah. So, the reason why we're all waiting, my wife and my mother-in-law are so eager to get in here, is because you never quite know what's gonna happen in a glaze kiln. After 30 years, we've got this down pretty good, so usually we know what to expect when we open a kiln, but every once in a while you'll get that pot that's like, wow, why did that happen? How did, where did that color come from? Uh, some of our glazes were actually mistakes, started off as mistakes, the way they interacted, two glazes overlaying each other. The way they interacted were so interesting that we then went back and tried to figure out how to replicate them time after time after time. Our new seafoam glaze, perfect example of that. So 600 degrees, I don't know, we've got a couple hours before we can open, so we're just playing the waiting game now. How's my kilt? Still too hot, Mom. Yeah. So I'm still said. too hot. <laughs> oh, work. <laughs> Love working with my mom. What are you most excited about in the kiln? This kiln. This kiln. Um, I'm excited about a new test I did with uh, cobalt blue and lung chung over it. The whole lung chung being our white glaze see how they interact together because sometimes we cross them and you get a little interaction between the two of them and it creates a really unique um, dotted blue kind of color but this time i did the whole piece and it's on a small mixing bowl so i'm excited to see how that comes out yeah, we'll have to look for that one and what are you most excited about i have a test in there also and it is the our new teal over yellow mm. and then yellow over that mm. oh so i'm just um interested to see what happens there. Nice. Could be mud. 
<laughs> Sometimes we get mud. Sometimes we get Sometimes mud. Sometimes we do, and it's okay. So we had to wait the whole night for the kiln to cool, and I'm sure my mom is anxiously awaiting to open this kiln, so let's go see. There she is. <laughs> we're here. It's been late. I know, we're coming. Let's get it open. All right. Okay, we're going to use all the presents. I hope it's a good one. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Can I see it? A new green green with our whoops to handle. Oh, I like that. Isn't that pretty? And here we have our new stuff. Our red tests. Ooh. Red. Oh, look at those. Yeah. Flying seagull chowder bowls. Okay. So these are the surprises that we get sometimes. Big crack in the mug for an order. So I have to redo it. Now we have to get the two lamps bisque, but I actually went and made sure that the we, we should have good. them in white too, ready to go. No, no. Oh, there's one. There's one ready to go. Okay, so that's unless we can find another one. Ah. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous. that beautiful cobalt blue fluke and scup ball. Oh, I just want to go eat pasta. <laughs> So what are you doing? I'm, pu I, I'm putting together all the orders that are coming out of the kiln. There's an order for eight of these, so I'm cleaning the bottoms of them because they're a little rough, so we use this silicon carbide stone and scrape the bottom so they're nice and smooth. Does that happen with every piece that comes out of the Every kiln? single piece. You have to do that too, so these will be shipped out Monday morning. <laughs>